Whoa, shit, it is fucking slick here. Wally, come on, buddy. Wally, come on. We're here, let's go. Okay, here, it's slick. I'm gonna pick him up too. All right. Okay. We're here to train hamstrings. This is Wally, the gym mascot. You ready to go, buddy? You ready to go, buddy? All right. Let me get off this slippery ground. It's sketchy. All right. So like I said, it's hamstring day. Right now I've got two leg days. I've got a split between a quad and hamstring day. So we're gonna get inside and train some hammies. So before we get started, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Now let's go train. After this, we're gonna go get some delicious food. It's, uh, it's my cheat meal day. I get one cheat meal a week. And typically I do something with the wife, but she's out of town this weekend, so it's gonna be brunch with the boys. So after this, we're gonna go get some chicken and waffles. Sound good? Chicken and waffles. But we gotta earn it first. Ready to go, buddy? Let's go. Come on. Noticing a, a theme here? It's got Big J on the TV again. All right, time to warm up. What are we gonna do for warm up? What have we been doing? Oh, okay, well then cut that. We're not warming up. Yeah, let's feel good. Okay, so this is gonna be our first movement here. We're gonna work up to one top set and we're gonna execute a rest pause set. So we're gonna do all out set of failure, 15 deep breaths, another failure set, 15 deep breaths, aiming for about 20 reps total across those three sets. So typically we do like some form of warm up uh, leading into a workout, but for this hamstring day, I'm just pyramiding up in sets, doing like sub maximal sets of 10 reps all the way up till my working weight. That way the hamstrings are nice and warm before we fire into our working set. Another thing I like to think about here, I see a lot of people when they do these hamstring curls, They'll really arch their back and arch and throw the weight down. And what you're doing is using your glutes and your low back to help move the weight. I really like to uh, flatten my low back, push my back against the pad, and that way I'm driving and I'm using just hamstrings. So I'm not using anything else to assist the movement, I'm just using my hamstrings. So I guess I lied when I said I'm gonna do sets of 10 all the way up. I can't help myself. So as I'm working up, the, the lighter weight, I definitely did my sets of 10, but as we get a little heavier, I back off the reps, that way I'm not wasting any energy for my top set. Finish it. Good. Yeah, I think I did 11, 4, 2, Everybody. See the value in logging your workouts, guys? Now I know what I need to do. You can't remember this every time. Okay.
Okay, one more. Rest pauses are very hard. That's really taxing. I don't know about you, but that hurt like hell. Yeah. We're done here. One working set, rest pause. We're gonna do lying dumbbell curls. I think we're gonna do a rest pause there as well. We're gonna do a rest pause. Yep, so. And then we're gonna hold it for as long as we can. Yeah, which sounds really shitty. So, okay, let's go. Okay, next movement, lying dumbbell hamstring curls. I get a lot of questions why we do the lying dumbbell opposed to the lying hamstring curl machine. The answer is I do both. But if you haven't done these and don't understand why they're different, just do them and then you'll understand. They're very humbling, quite difficult, and it's just simply not the same movement. So try it for yourself, then you'll understand. So these, you just want to keep the pelvis tucked so you're not using your glutes and low back to move the weight. And another thing about these, you'll find because your, your feet are in closer and you're gripping the dumbbells, you're going to really work the inner part of your hamstring and like the inner hamstring uh, adductor tie-in. Oh, 
Okay, so rest pause is complete. Now I'm gonna do just a weighted hold at a 45 and I'm gonna hold that as long as I can. Whoo. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, God damn. Come on. That sucks so bad. That sucks, that sucks really bad. We are done with the lying hamstring curls. Our next movement is gonna be a high and wide leg press. Um, I just seen a fit chick hop on the leg press, so I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit. So we're gonna have a little intermission here, but that's okay, my hammies are smoked. I don't mind a little bit of a break. So, next movement, leg press. The official plate loader. That's me, dog. What's going on? Plates are already loaded. Oh yeah, that was feel good. Now it's time to power. Love the plates on. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. If you want to train with the pro, you got to load the pro's weight. Bitch duties. <laughs> On that note, this fucking guy, every time it's time for his set, he's in the bathroom going pee. I call it, uh, every time I say I got to pee, I say I'm going to take it Steve, because Steve is constantly peeing. So when it comes to unload the weights, you know how many times this guy is just in the bathroom or just walks away or I'm unloading the plates and I realize he's already starting the next movement? Fucking, how dare you? Spider-Man, go full Spider-Man. There it is. Sick. This is gonna be a hamstring emphasis leg press. So what you're gonna see me do here is place my feet high and wide on the leg press, opposed to traditionally if I'm doing a leg press and I wanna target my quads, my feet are gonna be, gonna be a lot lower. So this is typically where I'd have it for quads, hamstrings, I'm gonna be up in this range, and I'm really gonna be focusing on driving through the heels to enforce that, that load on the hamstrings, to try to keep it out of my quads as much as possible. So, I've got my trusty sidekick here, and this will be my top set. Let's work. Just so you guys know, these are the 100 pound plates. They're heavy as 
So we put them on top. Don't put them on the bottom. That way I don't have to break my back pulling them off the pin. A lot easier. Be smart. Neely hamstring curl, yeah. All right, dump the leg press. Now we're gonna go to a single leg kneeling hamstring curl. So with these, this is another movement that I see a lot of glute and low back recruit recruitment. So what you end up seeing is guys doing like this, where they're arching and throwing. What I really wanna see here is to contract your abs, keep the low back flat to where you're just moving the hamstring. I want just the hamstring to move the weight. I don't wanna see this. That looked pretty lame. But yeah, that's what I see. First working set here. We're gonna do two working sets total on this machine. Aim for about 10 to 12 reps each set. The goal is to just repeat the weight. If I nail 12 reps, then I'll keep the weight here. And then uh, if it's a little too heavy, then I'll back off. So, it's called instinctive training, guys. You know why I was on time today, kind of? Because I, I took my poop first thing in the morning. <laughs> I, made sure to, I made sure to take my poop before I took my pre-workout. <laughs> so I was actually kind of on time today. I'm usually halfway out the door and realize that I didn't take a shit. Okay. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Yeah, you too, yeah thank you for coming you. down, making the trip. Appreciate I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. You, man. yeah, very nice meeting you. Yeah, you guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, of course, hell yeah, awesome. Thank you definitely got the angle on me on that one. <laughs> yeah. I am indeed repeating the weight for a second set.
that's it for hamstrings. I'm logging this last exercise into my notes here. So we're done with hamstrings, but we are gonna do some adductors. So I like to put adductors at the end of the hamstring workouts. As you guys may or may not know, adductors tie in at the hamstrings. So I really like training those two body parts together. Steve is gonna rack all the weights because I'm too tired. So he's gonna put everything away while I log my lifts. Just, I'll, I'll put it away so you can leave it. Nah, he's got it. And then we're gonna do some adductors. Two thirty-five. Feeling ballsy here. Okay. So this will be the final movement of the day. We are gonna work up to a top set of around 15 reps. And what you're gonna see me. Ugh. We're gonna work up to a top set of about 15 reps. And what we're gonna do here is a controlled three-second eccentric and then we're gonna hold for three seconds in the fully stretched position. We're not gonna let the stack bottom out, we're gonna hold with full tension on the adductors for three seconds, fire into hard contraction, hold the contraction for a second, controlled negative, three seconds in the stretch, repeat for 15 reps. Okay. Okay, so we are done here with the gym part of things. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna go have a cheat meal. We're gonna eat some chicken and waffles. Let's go. All right, so we're here at our local breakfast spot here at Mimosa's. It's a pretty popular spot, so a little bit of a wait. And get some chicken and waffles. I know I've been talking about this a lot, but it's a food, and this is a meal that I've been really wanting all through prep. I did a 16 week prep and the entire time I wanted this meal. So I'm fired up. So it's gonna be worth the wait. So sit here at the pup, soak up some sun, get some vitamin D and then we'll eat. Let's do this. All right, time to eat. Come on buddy. Oh, come on Wally. Let's go buddy. Awesome, thank you man, appreciate it. Going full white girl on this one with the fing memo. Hell yeah. 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 Hell
yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no shame. Nah. It tastes great. I'm gonna go and take my. I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, yeah. Cheers. That's really good. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do the chicken and waffles. And can we add bacon and jalapeno to the batter? Okay, and then I'm not done yet. So I think you guys do omelets, yeah? Okay, so can I do like the what the yup? Is that how you guys do it? So can I just do that in an omelet with four eggs? Now I'm rethinking my strategy here. Okay, so yeah, let's just do a four egg omelet with the corned beef and Onions, kale. Um, I don't want any any gravy. Okay. Nice. And then on the side, I'll just do what were, the, what were my options on the side? Uh, so you can do the crunchy potatoes. Well, actually, this one, go put the potatoes in it for you unless you want it on the side. Uh, let's do the potatoes on the inside, and then uh, I'll do a biscuit. Thank you. Okay. So food is here. I've got chicken waffles. I got an omelet that I couldn't stop eating uh, before we started filming, but this is it. Thank you so much. This is what we've been talking about all damn day. So I just want to stress to you guys that this is not typical. This is not how I typically handle a training day. This is a cheat meal. And I don't normally sip on mimosas and have brunch with the fellas, but today's a special day and we're going to indulge. We're going to treat ourselves. So I'm going to handle this. I'm going to take this down and then I'm probably going to go home and take a nap. That sounds good. Oh, the but until then, right. it's time to eat and drink. Have fun. Thanks, guys.